Welcome to the first lightning talk from myself about using GitHub statistics as telemetry data. Just a quick word about me. I'm Christian Wolf. I'm a research officer at EKS and I'm only community member where I'm also doing the maintenance of the cookbook app. What is telemetry data? There is a site that I found on the internet that I found okay. Um, the automatic process of data created by system is being remotely controlled through agents. So we collect data from our users. There are different aspects, but the idea is to get data from every user we have. Now, why do that? Well, as app developer, we want to optimize. And maybe there are some questions like, which version is running typically? Which environment is running? Which next cloud server is there? For example, although often we have the statement, oh, this bug happens to every user. Is this really true? Does this bug happen on every user? And as Nextcloud, we are very privacy aware. So we have the problem that we want to be sure of our privacy. And therefore, this telemetry data is not so optimal in our perspective. I even rose a um, discussion on the forum about this telemetry data stuff. And it even caused some sort of shitstorm in that sense that people said, no, we don't want to have that. We don't want to even have the code inside our code bases. So the question is, what can we do in this direction? The idea is, yeah, OK, we cannot do everything. Yeah, OK, for sure. We have to restrict ourselves. But the idea is, maybe we can even get some information about how many installations are out there of our apps. And this is even nice information for, our de for us developers, because we know what is out and what we can focus on. And what we have is, GitHub, if we use that as our environment platform, has some counters for the downloads of the releases. I have to give credit here to Florian Steffens, who is sitting somewhere, I don't know where exactly, maybe you raise your hand, I don't know, that this is possible in general. But what you get here is just one number. We have at the moment 100 downloads. That's all you get. No extra data is provided to me, and also GitHub is not rising any more data. How can we enhance that? There is a tool that's called Moonin, which is a Perl-based script tool. I uh, you, was intended, was created to monitor machines for like memory usage, CPU usage, and su such things. So it's not really about development but it aggregates and visualizes data automatically. And what we can do is we can extend Moonin or other scripts in similar things, like Prometheus is another tool that's working similar, to collect these data and then visualize what we have. So for example, here's the cookbook app, um, like uh, in week 21 I did an, a release and you see here the download counts per hour on the right side and you see the typically yeah decrease at the beginning you have a quite some some downloads and then more and more um, versions get installed and less and less new installations are necessary yeah market is uh, yeah full so to call there are some restrictions because GitHub has some rate limits that um, makes it only possible to rather have 200 repositories monitored at the same time with the same IP. Otherwise, you run into these rate limits. Um, we can discuss about this if you want to ha uh, know that in detail. But um, what I want to do here is perfect. Um, at the moment, it's running on my personal server. Therefore, I cannot show you here an URL or something like this. But I would 
discuss with people if they would be interested in this approach, in these scripts that are involved, that are quite common. And maybe, and this is more questions toward the next cloud, uh, GmbH or community, if it was intended or wished to run one such server for all apps in the community, for example. That would be a central instance, and that could maybe be provided. That would be a service that I suggest. And if you have any ideas, any suggestions, any, any thoughts on this, you can contact me on this mail, or behind this QR code is also the mail, I think, or a GitHub account. And with that, I would close my lightning talk here and hand over to the next one.